ABCs and 123 Storytime from the Palos Verdes Library District. I'm Vivian, and this is my Storytime friend, Quinn. Let's say hi to Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Hi. Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Quinn, why do you keep saying bye when I say hi? It's opposite day. Says who? Says me. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. See? Opposites. You know what? I think I know what Quinn is leading us to. Do you want to tell our friends what our story time today is all about? Opposites. Yes. So opposites are two things that are different from each other. And learning opposites can help us learn new words and new ways to describe what we see around us. And can you help us think of some opposites? Hmm. Quinn, can you help us out? Yes! There's big and small. Big and small, yes. I thought of one. Loud and quiet. Can you think of another, Quinn? Yes! Hot and cold. Brrr. That's right. So we are going to practice opposites with our story time today, and we're going to start with our hello song. So I'm going to put Quinn to the side, and for hello, our hello song, we are going to say hello in a few different ways. So we're going to do it loud and quiet, fast and slow, and then we are going to do high and low. All right, so this hello song is called Bread and Butter. So let's do it together. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Great job, everyone. So we went over quite a few opposites for that song. Again, we did high and low, fast and slow, as well as loud and quiet. So we are gonna move on to our first story, which is called Five Pigs So Squeaky Clean. And we have them on the board right now, and we also have some mud here. So I wonder what they're up to. All right, let's count out how many pigs we have on our board before we get started. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Five pigs. All right, feel free to follow along to the song with me at home. Five pigs, the squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there are four pigs, so squeaky clean. All right, so we have a pig with some mud in it. So what is the opposite of clean? That's right, dirty. So now we have, let's count how many clean pigs we have. One, two, three, four. And how many dirty pigs do we have? One, just this one right here. I have a feeling that this pig will have more friends soon. Ready? So we have four pigs, so squeaky clean. Let's do it. Four pigs, so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud, now there are three pigs, so squeaky clean. All right, so our, they had, uh, we have some friends in the mud together, and we have three pigs, so squeaky clean. Let's do it. Three pigs, so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud, now there are two pigs, so squeaky clean. All right, we had a pig fall down, don't worry, I have it. There we go. 
All right, so let's count how many clean pigs we have and how many dirty pigs we have. Ready? We have one, two, two clean pigs, and one, two, three, three dirty pigs. All right, so we're gonna do two pigs so squeaky clean. Let's do it. Two pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen. Wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there is one pig so squeaky clean. All right, so we just have our one pig left over there that's clean. So let's see what happens. One pig so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen. Wanted to go outside and play oink oink. They jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there are no pigs so squeaky clean. The end, yay! All right, so we started with five pigs so squeaky clean. And how many do we have left? None or zero. And we started with zero dirty pigs. So how many dirty pigs do we have now? Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five. Five dirty pigs. So we just learned another opposite, clean and dirty. And now we are gonna sing a song called Roly Poly and we're gonna learn more opposites. So we're gonna do some movements with this song. So we're gonna do Roly Poly like this and then we'll do a couple of actions from there. So feel free to follow along with me at home. Ready? Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, down, 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 down. Roly, poly, roly, poly, out, 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 out. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, in, 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 in. Roly, poly, roly, poly, fast, fast, fast. Fast, 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 roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Great job, everyone. All right, so we learned more opposites with this one. We did in and then out, up and then down, and then finally something that we already learned, fast and then slow. Okay. So our next song is about a bug that you may be familiar with. I'll give you some clues on what this bug is and maybe our friend Quinn can help us out too. So this bug usually has eight legs, it spins webs, and you can usually find it crawling somewhere. Hmm, I wonder what this bug is. Let's ask Quinn. Quinn! Yes? We need your help. So our next song is about a bug and the bug has eight legs. That's a lot of legs. It, yeah, it is because we only have two legs, right? Um, and it spins webs and it usually, we can usually find it crawling. Do you know what bug this is? Hmm, I'm thinking. Hmm, sounds familiar. Familiar. Whoops. <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider all right i'm gonna put quinn to the side so they can watch us and sing along too so we're gonna do this song with our hands so feel free to follow along with me so we're gonna start with the itsy bitsy spider ready the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right. So because it's today we're doing all opposites, what's the opposite of itsy bitsy? Hmm. So itsy bitsy is very small. So what is the opposite of itsy bitsy? How about big gigantic spider? Okay, so next. We are gonna do the song, but instead of the Itsy Bitsy Spider, we are gonna do the big gigantic spider. Ready? 
The big gigantic spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big gigantic spider went up the spout again. Yay! Great job, everyone. So that was our last song of the day, but you can always practice opposites at home in so many different ways. You can sing songs and rhymes like we did today. You can use them in everyday conversations. Like, can you turn on the lights? Can you turn off the lights? How about try sitting down and standing up? Or maybe, can you open the door and can you close the door? Um, you can also read books about opposites. We have a lot of concept picture books at our libraries about opposites, so feel free to check that out. Um, and you can also play games like Simon Says to practice your opposites as well. So before we go today, we are of course gonna sing our goodbye song. And just like our hello song, we are gonna say goodbye in a few ways. So we're gonna say goodbye um, as fast as we can, as slow as we can, as loud as we can, as high as we can and as low as we can. Ready? So it's called bread and butter. Let's do it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. <laughs> Whoops! Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye! <laughs> Great job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Quinn and I for story time this week. We hope you had fun learning about opposites. And I think Quinn wants to say goodbye to you as well. I mean, bye! Gotcha there! It's opposite day! Bye everyone! See you next time! Bye everyone! Take care!